Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Jim the Sim, and we are back into The Sims 4 for another part in our Sims 4 Let's Play series. I know that we have not been into this game for quite a while now, which I kind of regret, but we are back. I actually got a few requests to continue this Let's Play, and by a few I mean like one or two, but, um, you know, I like this Let's Play, and I don't know why I stopped in the first place, but we are back with another part. And I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, basically, we're just going to pick up where we left off in the last part, which I don't even remember what number this is going to be, so I won't even try to guess because I'm obviously going to guess wrong. Um, so we are back, and we have Sydney and Princeton out here right now. And as you guys remember, Sydney is actually a nurse, and Princeton, I cannot remember. This is embarrassing. He is an office assistant, so... That is what we are dealing with right now. We are in the town of Oasis Springs, I believe. I don't know why I'm like, I feel like I'm starting a whole new Let's Play, but um, it's just been so long since we've been to this Let's Play, so I just want to let you guys know what is happening. And Sydney actually just got home from work, and I did change up the looks of both of them just a tad bit. You guys might notice, you might not, I don't know. But I did, in fact, change their um, outfits and appearance a little bit. So, um, without further ado, let us go ahead and hop right into it. It is currently Sunday at 1.51 p.m., and I w what I think I want them to do is actually head out to Windenburg, um, you know, just to, like, have a night out on the town. I know that Sydney does work tomorrow, so we have to keep that in mind, but I actually do want her to have a good night out, and um, we are definitely going to be inviting her boyfriend. Uh, she does have a boyfriend, so... We're going to go ahead and see if we can't travel to Windenburg. I don't really know where exactly in Windenburg. I just know that I want to kind of go to a club with all of them so that they can, you know, have a rager at the club. But I will go ahead and see where. And we are, of course, going to be inviting Stuart, um, Sydney's boyfriend. So once we have this thing load, let's go ahead and see where exactly we want to go. It is like... 2-ish p.m. in the game, so obviously the clubs probably aren't going to be open, but um, it will take us a, quite a bit of time to travel to one of them, so by the time that we actually do travel to it, it probably should be opening up here pretty soon. I'm just going to go ahead and head to the Narwhal Arms. I believe that this is my favorite club in Windenburg, so I will go ahead and cut to when we arrive back at the Narwhal Alrighty guys, we are back. I don't know why every single time I start recording, we just shoot up into the sky for no reason, but I should probably look into why that is happening. But it actually looks like the club is not completely dead right now, which is pretty cool. Um, we actually do have a few different civilians, it looks like, you know, going to town. We do have a DJ, um... I kind of like this DJ. He's kind of cool looking. But uh, we did come here with Stuart, so we definitely need to hang out with him a little bit. Excuse my phone. Um, we do need to hang out with him for a little bit, you know, get to know him a little bit better. And then I do think that we want to do some risque stuff in the closet, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. And as you guys remember, Stuart actually does work with us. I believe he is a doctor. Um, yep, he is a doctor, so, of course, we are playing our cards right, and we are dating a doctor, and, of course, he does work with us, and we are a nurse, so, you know, it's never bad to get on your co-worker's good side in more than, one, more than one way, if you know what I mean, so, I'm actually gonna have them, you know, I don't know why she's, like, talking to him from across the freaking counter, and why, like, there's, like, 20 other people in our conversation right now, but that is not what I intended for, so I think what we need to do is cut that off right quick, um, get these lamos out of our convo right quick, and then, of course, we'll just, you know, woohoo in the closet, and once, hopefully, hopefully nobody just, like, I feel like people are gonna be, like, listening in on it because they're, like, sick perverts, but I guess we'll have to see what happens, um, this chick right here is just, like, feeling us right now, Dina Caliente, you know, she, oh, everybody's the whole freaking town is coming to see what's happening in the closet um so they're gonna continue woohooing you know because that's what they're doing everybody's watching so this is kind of awkward if you ask me definitely don't recommend doing this at home considering all these people are like watching and unbeknownst to them in the closet they have all like they have a whole freaking crowd out there waiting and princeton's just living it up you know shine in his phone light you know what i don't know actually i i don't i can't even make up an excuse as to why he's doing that because it's so whack but 
I believe they are done. If not, I do want to try for a baby just to see what happens, you know, like, you know, test the water a little bit, see what would come about if we did try for a baby. So we will definitely go ahead and do that right quick. And if we do end up getting pregnant, that might be super awkward to tell our kids one day that mommy and daddy, you know, made you in a club. Uh, um, but that's besides the point. I'm going to have a switch back over to Princeton just so that we're not watching that whole shebang go down. And it looks like we are still, you know, just having the time of our lives over here on the dance floor, dancing it up with these people. I'm actually going to have Princeton go ahead and talk to Jade Rosa because I do believe that she is a high up um, person in the party house. I might be wrong on whether or not that's the club that she is a part of, but I would hope that I'm not. Yep, it is party house. And I believe that she is the leader of that. So, of course, we need to, like, you know, get get in with the leader. Um, if we want to make it into the party house, don't really know if we want to exactly join the party house, but you can never, you can never go wrong with just talking to people, you know, making friends, doing all that fun stuff, and I hope she likes our dance skills because we are, like, going to town right now, as is she, and I told them to talk to each other, I don't know if they actually are, they are still dancing, and it does show that they are in a conversation together, so I guess that is good, and I guess they're relationship is being boosted as we speak but of course i cannot really tell because of course they are dancing with their backs towards each other and apparently they're talking um let's go ahead and switch to see what she is doing so she's just eating it up over here i don't know exactly what she's eating bitch what is you eating wench what are you eating okay you know what i give up I don't know where Stuart went off to. He may have went home, um, but if not... Yeah, I, I literally don't know where Stuart went to. Oh, well. I, I guess he went home. I'm assuming that he has to work here in the morning. Not here, but, you know... Yep, he does work tomorrow morning, as do we. I don't know exactly what time we work, so we should probably look into that just so that we're not out super late. So we do work at 7 a.m., so I'm actually going to have, you know... Uh, Sydney, go ahead and head home. She is pretty stanky right now, and she is getting fairly tired. Not super tired, but I'm just going to have him, her go ahead and head home, and I'm also going to have Princeton follow her as well, just so that we don't have two Sims in two different places. But I am going to have them go home, you know, get their bars up, and then, of course, she will be heading off to work tomorrow morning. So I will go ahead and cut to when we arrive back home. All right, we have arrived at home, and it is currently 7 p.m., and I'm surprised it's not, like, super dark out because usually it starts to get dark around this time in real life, as if that's the case for The Sims, I don't know. But I'm going to have him go ahead and grab a quick bite of cereal to eat just because that's super quick and easy. And once we are done doing that, I'm actually going to have her go ahead, use the toilet, and then just go ahead and hop right into bed. Actually, oh... Okay, never mind. I thought our toilet was broken for a second. I'm going to wait to take a pregnancy test just so that we can be completely sure that it is accurate. Um, and then, of course, our ultimate goal is to actually... Oop, he's calling us. Are you kidding me? We literally were just out with you, you freaking loser. Like, literally, you're the one who left us at the bar, so no thank you. We are not going to get a drink with you at the Screaming Llama or whatever the name of that freaking place was. Rather, we're going to be responsible and go to bed at a decent time instead of going out. So she's going to head off to bed right quick, and then once he is done eating, I'm just going to have him go ahead and do the same just so that we can, you know, get on a somewhat normal sleep schedule. It is pretty early still. Um, I probably would not want to go to bed while it's still light out, but of course this is The Sims, and The Sims kind of have to listen to what I have to say to them. So I'm going to tell them to go to bed. And of course, as I was going to say earlier, our ultimate goal is to actually move into a different house. And I do have a certain house in mind as to which we want to move into. But we are just waiting on us to get enough money. I got the scoop that some crazy party is happening in the bluffs right now. Want to check it out? Kind of. I low-key do. I'm going to have... Um, I'm just going to have Princeton head out. That is actually our brother, for those of you who do not know, that just called us. So we are going to have, um, we're going to travel out to the bluffs. I'm going to leave Sydney at home just so that she can catch up on her sleep, and she does have to work tomorrow morning. So I'm just going to have Princeton go ahead and check out this party and see what is up. I really haven't been to way too many parties in the bluffs, um, just because, you know, when does the opportunity to present itself? But it looks like, is this our brother too? 
Nope, that's awkward. So this is actually our brother Corbin who actually did invite us to the party. And is this exit? Okay, I'm going to keep this in mind for when we actually do need to leave because sometimes whenever I get trapped in the woods, I always forget where the exit is and it gets super awkward when you're like walking around for like 10 minutes trying to find the exit and you can't find it because it's hidden in the bushes. So I'm going to try to remember that the exit is over here and it actually does look like there is a pretty decent sized party happening right now and look at us, Jade Rosa, our little friend is here. I'm going to have them go ahead and, you know, talk to each other, maybe dance together a little bit, see if we can, you know, get some chemistry going between the two of them. Um, she's like dugging. What the heck? Okay. Um, <laughs> it's kind of so random that we're just like partying in the middle of like a forest. Uh, kind of sketchy if you ask me. I feel like this is a perfect way to start off a horror movie, but then again, it is The Sims. So that's probably not going to happen. Um, being here actually reminds me how long it's been since I have been camping in the Sims 4, so I will definitely have to do that here pretty soon. Maybe in the next part we should actually go camping. I do not think that that would be a bad idea. Um, so I'm just gonna have them continue to talk, you know, chat it up a little bit, see if we can get their relationship bar up just a tad bit. And then once we get to a certain amount, we can obviously start flirting with her and going in to be more than just friends, if you know what I mean. But as for now, I'm just going to have them chat it up a little bit. And then once they are done with that cue, I think that I'm going to have them go ahead and dance over here. Um, I'm going to have them dance together just, you know, because why not? And he actually does have to use the bathroom. So before they dance together, I'm going to have him go over to the bush and, you know, take care of business. Um, why can I not find where we need to go? I'm pretty sure that there's like certain bushes that you can go to the bathroom in and some that you can't. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me see. I forgot where it is though, because I remember actually using the bush for the bathroom here once, but I don't know where that bush is. So maybe we won't do that. Instead, we might just like pee our pants instead. You know, always the better ultimatum is to pee your pants. Because I cannot find the freaking bush where you can go to the bathroom in. So never mind. Apparently, I'm like incapable of finding a freaking bush to use to do our business. So they're just going to go ahead and dance. And hopefully we can, you know, get lucky tonight. Maybe. Probably not. But, you know, that should always be in the cards. Um, and this DJ right now is amazing. I love his helmet. This is like dope. What's his name? Rigo Berto. And he's an elder, what the heck? How are you an elder doing this? Like, I couldn't even do this as an 18-year-old, let alone being, like, 65 being a DJ. So, props to you for doing that, R Rigoberto, whatever your freaking name is. Dead Mouse Wannabe. Um, and she clearly didn't get the memo because she's freaking dancing in the middle of some bushes. I hope you get a freaking tick for that. How about that, Jade? You know, just... I hope you get a tick. That's all I have to say for not dancing with us. And now that it is, like, almost 11 p.m., I'm going to have him probably go ahead and, you know, think about heading home. Dude, leave the freaking party. Okay, we're going to go ahead and end the party now, since apparently whenever we leave, the whole party shuts down, which doesn't really make sense, but I guess it does make sense in a sense. I don't know. So I'm going to have him go ahead and head home, and I will cut... Wait, no, he's not even going home. Never mind. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to have him go ahead and head home, and then once we are home, I will go ahead and... Oh, I'm actually going to... Okay, well, I wasn't planning on having Corbin come over, but I'm actually going to have him come over, because why not? He is our brother, so we might as well invite him over to sleep over tonight. Why not? I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure he would be down with that stash. So, I'm actually going to have them both go ahead and head back home, and I will cut to when we arrive back at our house. All right, guys, we are back home, and it is currently 11 p.m., so I don't really know as to why Sydney is standing outside right now. That's kind of weird. Like, what are you doing? But I'm actually going to have them go ahead and both head off to bed right now, and it actually looks for... Sp I see Spray the Monster under the bed, so that must be a part of the new update that just came out, I believe, on Tuesday. But, of course, we don't really need to spray for monsters because we do not have kids and monsters are not real plot twist so they're gonna go ahead and sleep and their creepy brother's just gonna watch them sleep like 
you know, I don't even know what to say right now. But once she does wake up, I'm actually going to have her go ahead and take a pregnancy test once, or before she leaves for work, just so that we can be completely sure whether or not we are pregnant. And if we are, we can, of course, just drop the bomb on Stuart while we see him at work, because that would be a great morning starter, I'm sure. Just to, like, be like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're pregnant, if you didn't know. Um, that will throw him for a loop. Once they wake up, I'm actually going to have them all go ahead and grab a bite to eat. Princeton never used the bathroom, so I'm actually going to have him go ahead and use the bathroom once he does wake up. It actually looks like that just woke him up. So he's going to go to the bathroom. His brother just walked in on him for some reason. I don't know what the deal is. This family is, like, so dysfunctional. It's not even funny. But if you guys remember the parents, it would make sense for sure. Those parents were just out of their freaking minds. Um, so it is 4.15 a.m. Sydney is up and ready to get on her day. And she's going to grab a bite to eat very quickly. And then once she is done with that, she's going to go ahead and take that pregnancy test. See what the outcome of that is. And then I believe that she has to leave here pretty soon for work. And we hopefully will be getting a promotion at work here pretty soon. I could only hope so, at least. We do have the certain amount of things that we need to do to get the promotion. We just need to get our performance bar all the way up. And now that she is finished eating, we are going to go ahead and take a pregnancy test, guys. This is going to determine a lot for this Let's Play, so we'll have to see what happens. I'm kind of nervous. Um, I kind of want her to be... <gasps> She's pregnant, guys! Oh my gosh! Sydney is officially pregnant with Stuart, whatever his freaking name is. Stuart's baby. And Stuart Woodworth. So, Stuart, looks like you're going to be a dad. And I'm going to be really interested in to see what this baby turns out like. Because we are kind of like darker. We have a darker complexion. And Stuart is like a freaking pale ginger. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. I'm kind of curious as to see what this baby will look like. But we are officially pregnant, which is kind of exciting. Not just kind of exciting. I'm actually really excited that we are pregnant now. And that only means that we should probably think about getting married to Stuart here pretty soon, which I guess, you know, I kind of want to happen just because I think that Stuart and Sydney are good together. Obviously, they are having a baby together, so um, we kind of have a reason to get married now, but, you know, no pressure or anything. I definitely don't want her to propose to him, but I think that might end up happening just because I feel like Stuart is a lazy piece of shit. I'm just kidding. That's kind of rude. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. I definitely do want them to get married. And I'm going to go ahead and join her. And it looks like Sydney's birthday is actually today. I don't know if I saw that correctly, but I do think that Sydney's birthday might be today. I'm going to take a second look at that once we do arrive at the hospital. But I will go ahead and cut back to when we arrive at our job. Okay, guys, we have made it to our job, and it actually looks like we did get bills, so we're going to have to pay that off, which is kind of unfortunate because I thought that we were making pretty good progress here towards our new house and the whole process of buying that house. But, um, you know, we just got to keep working at it, I guess. And she's actually going to go ahead and kiss Stuart, it looks like. But once or after they do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and just, you know, drop the bomb on him that we are pregnant. And Sydney actually looks super cute right now because she does have somewhat of a baby bump. Not really. It's not really all the way there yet, but, you know, kind of visible. And it actually does look like Sydney's birthday is today, so that's kind of exciting as well. I didn't know that that was happening. And, hey, get back here. Where do you think you're going? We have to tell you something important, you freak. Share big news. Okay. I'm going to be very interested as to see what he reacts like, just because I kind of want to, you know, just hope that he reacts fine. But, of course, you never know with these crazy sims. He's like, um, no, no. Oh, he's so mad right now. Oh, wait, no, he's happy. Okay. Sending us mixed signals, I see. Jeez. Jeez Louise. How about you freaking make up your mind? I'm going to go ahead and praise his wor work ethic. Um... Actually, I just saw something about his salary, so I kind of want to ask him about his salary because, you know, that can determine a lot in a relationship. Yep, we're going to go ahead and ask him about his salary um, just because if he makes a lot, we definitely do want to, you know, wife, be his wife because you can never go wrong with a lot of money. And he is a doctor, so I'm assuming that it's going to be a pretty decent amount. At least I could only hope so. 
Is she asking him? No. Dude, I told you to freaking ask him how much he freaking makes, so why don't you do that? You stupid broad. Ask him. Ask him how much he freaking makes. We're, like, sitting here wasting half of our workday on this when we could be, like, making use of our time and actually treating patients or something, but I guess his salary is more important to us than people that are severely sick. We are, like, messed up in the head. I'm actually going to have Sydney go ahead over here to this little Aaliyah Gates, or whatever her name is, and I'm going to go ahead and discuss her general health with her, because she obviously does not look well. But with that being said, it actually looks like it is time for me to go ahead and wrap this Let's Play part up. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, let me, guys, let me know if you guys are excited about this Let's Play, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.